Hey guys, so we're going to be talking about, for the next couple weeks, the idea of watching what we say. In Hebrew, that's called shmirat halashon, watching your tongue or guarding your tongue. Now, what I've noticed is most people, when we talk about these topics, they spend a lot of time telling you how important it is, but don't spend a lot of time telling you actually what it is. So, guys, it's important to watch what we say. So now let's figure out how we do that. There are five kinds of prohibited speech. The first one is called Lashonara. The second one, Rechilut. The third one, Motsi Shemra. The fourth one, Avak Lashonara, or Avak Rechilut. And the fifth one is called Onat Devarim. So let's go through and let's define these. Number one, Lashonara. What is Lashonara? First off, that's how people generally refer to the entire topic but it actually is its own subcategory. Lashonara is negative information about another person, but not just negative information. It has to be true, and it either has to be derogatory or damaging. That's what makes something Lashonara. So sometimes you'll have people be like, this isn't Lashonara, like, it's true. No, actually, that's literally the definition. If it's a true statement about someone that's either derogatory or damaging, that's Lashonara. Okay, next up is you have Rechilut. Rechilut is gossip. It means telling someone something negative that another person said about them. So let's say I've got Tammy and Tiffany and their roommates and they really don't like each other. So if I go to Tammy and I tell her, hey, Tiffany said you're a total basket case, that's rechilut. Because what rechilut is, is rechilut causes ill will between the two people in the story. Okay, great. Number three is motzi shemra. Motzi shemra is the same thing as lashonara, where you're giving negative information, except it's not true. So it's a derogatory or damaging statement about another person that's not true. And here's the kicker about motzi shemra, exaggeration counts. So if you were to say somebody always is making a mess or is always doing whatever, that would actually go into the category of motzi shemra because nobody always does anything. Okay, great. Number four is avak lashonara or avak rechilut. This is where you aren't actually saying something that's lashonara or you aren't actually saying something that's rechilut, but it could lead to that. So, for example, if you are having a conversation and somebody says, oh, they broke up. If you were to say, oh, why'd they break up? That would be an example of avak lashonara, because probably any answer to that question is going to be some lashonara. Okay, amazing. The fifth category is a little different than the other ones. Okay? The other categories are what we say about people. The fifth category, onat devarim, is what we say to people. This is insulting or hurtful comments that you would make to a person. This includes pretty much any kind of insult, and here's the kicker, even if you're joking. So calling someone a freak or being like, oh, you're always late, that's actually a prohibited form of speech. Not that we can't have a sense of humor. Definitely, please have a sense of humor. But hurtful comments, even if somebody laughs when you make it, you don't actually know how deep that can go. So the Torah doesn't allow us to make any hurtful and insulting comments about anybody. Okay, so let's review. Lashon Ara, true information which is damaging or derogatory about another person. Okay, number two, Rechilut, this is gossip causing ill will between people by letting them know negative things another person said about them. Number three, motzi shemra. This is information which is lashonara but isn't true, either because it's totally made up or because it's an exaggeration. Number four, avak lashonara or avak rechilut. This is not necessarily lashonara, not necessarily rechilut, but could lead someone to say it. And there are five, onat devarim. Not what we say about people, but what we say to people, which would be hurtful or painful. Thanks so much, guys. Take care. Mm -hmm.